So I wanted to show you something um, just real quick as you start to add shade to things. So this is a way to add shade that doesn't use the clipping mask if you, if you loathe and despise the clipping mask. So here's my coconut on my tree. And I think what I'm gonna do for the sake of my sanity is to come over here and just show the coconut and the coconut holes, all right? Now this is a grouped object. I can always, if I wanted to, ungroup it and do my work and group it up again. So I think I'll do that for now. And what I want is a little crescent inside this circle that's darker than the this circle. So it looks like there's a hole. And the reason I'm gonna put the dark crescent on this side is because my light source is over here. So I'm gonna put my finger on the option key and drag. And that's going to give me a copy of the circle. And as I dragged, I offset it. I'm gonna click on this circle and I'm gonna copy it. And you'll see why in one second. So now I'm gonna change the color of this just so you can see what I'm doing. Now I have these two circles. If I click on this one, finger on the shift key, click on that one. And I come over here to the Pathfinder tool and say minus front. Now I have uh, a pretty little mm, coconut. Now, I'm going to, let's see how I do this. I'm gonna say paste in back. And I know you can't see it because these two items are the same color, but if I go into keyline, if I hit command Y and go into keyline, you can see that there's a little half moon sitting inside. Just for good luck, I'm gonna say you come to the front and I'll come, command Y takes me back out of key line, and I'm gonna make this one darker. Pick a darker color. And as you can see, I now have a little half moon. And if my light is here shining down on my coconut, the depth of this hole would cast this shadow. And because I am not a fuel, I will come in Put my finger on the shift key, click, finger on the shift key, click, object group, finger on the option key, drag, scale that sucker down, finger on the option key, drag, scale that bad boy down. I'm just using my um, rotate tool to rotate them up. And then same thing here. I'm gonna delete these, because I don't need them. I'm gonna grab these, finger on the option key like that. And then just for the fun of it, take my pen tool, whoops, and give myself a little tiny, maybe shaggy texture here, because coconuts can get a little hairy on their funny little bottoms. And then I'll grab that and I'll go get my rotate tool, finger on the option key as I drag. There we go. Okay, so there are my two coconuts and he, this is their shadow. And I did that using the Pathfinder tool instead of the clipping path. Okay, slack me with questions.